There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. guys what's up what's up okay so you guys already know why i'm here we're gonna do a video right like of course we're gonna do a video the company that reached out to me i do believe the name is brick house i'm not really sure if i'm saying the entire name or if i'm adding a little bit extra because you know i can add a little bit extra but the reason for the confusion is this and this is just constructive criticism when I was reached out, they did give me the link to their website. There's not a lot of wigs on the website, so keep that in mind if you do want to check it out. They are fairly new, and I do believe and I would hope that in the future they do have a lot more inventory. So I picked out a lace frontal, which is a water wave. I was informed that FedEx would be delivering it. They could not use my postal box. They had to use my home address. Quite fine. No big deal. When the package arrived, I automatically assumed and knew that it was going to be the wig because my name and my address was changed. However, when I opened the package, I did see this box right here, which just says wig lace, um, wig lace, 100% virgin hair. And it's a factory, what does it say? It says factory factory direct sale the box was a little damaged no big deal i opened it up i did see it says lace front wig deep 22 inches so at first i'm like is this um what, what's going on you know what i mean oh, i had it standard paper and then there was a card in the box which was from virgo hair i seen this and i was like kind of confused because i'm like bali's virgo hair and it has a website it has their instagram facebook youtube channel on the back so i'm like this can't be brick house then because this is a totally different company then i thought about it and i researched my email looked at the fedex shipping tracking number from the package along with in my email as I had to search it because at first I searched this company's name in my email to see if I was going to be doing a video with them. I couldn't remember. And then I realized to all, you know, this is all from one company, which was Brick House. And this is just my constructive criticism because a person like me can get confused. And this is also good and not bad because a person like me will take this card and directly go to the source instead of going to the extra person you know what i'm saying and save me some coins so when i realized they had their items drop shipped to the customer i figured that part out now here's the good the, the good and the bad with that okay for one as a customer if i was to have purchased this i would have been a little bit confused and then i would have been a little bit upset because i realized that you purchased the hair from someone else which is standard but you yourself did not even look at the hair and inspect it before it was sent to me, which makes me kind of apprehensive because I don't really like stuff like that. Like one factory could be sending me anything. You didn't inspect it. You, the, the website that I purchased from did not inspect it. So I wasn't really happy about that because I could have just did that on my own. And I'm pretty sure like this is not a bash. This is constructive criticism. Being that I have another company's business card in the mail or in the package, I could just go directly to them and get the wig cheaper. So that means that you end up losing business and money. And not only that, you don't really know the quality of the wig that was sent to me. When I got the wig, the lace, I wasn't really like a huge fan of this lace because it was kind of hard. And on top of that, it took me twice. I had to actually bleach the knots on this unit twice only because I did leave it on the first time and they did not lift at all. Um, very little, very slightly. And then I had to go back and bleach it again, like a couple days later for the bleach to like really hit the knot. Oh, the one thing that I was not really happy about was the fact that it was you know drop shipped to me and the quality was not inspected by the actual company that could mean that your customers are receiving any type of product and as a company especially a new company you want to make sure that your product is a plus a one okay you don't want anybody else's business card in your package 
know what I'm saying? You should have your own business card, your own flyer, anything of your own. It should be wrapped in your own stuff. If you cannot like have or afford or but your budget doesn't call for like fancy boxes, then definitely just put them in the plastic bags and put like a nice little gift or even like nice little just nice little things or a thank you card. But I really think like when you do wigs and you're selling wigs on a website, I really think that it's important that they are sent directly to you as a, as a, you know what I'm saying? As a consumer or not as just a consumer, but just as the website owner, I really think like you should be able to get the wigs in hand and inspect them first package them up as you would like them to be packaged and sent and then send them to customers. That way you can expect inspect the quality. You can make sure everything's A1 and you can put your own little touch on. Because now I have their business card. I can just go straight to them and say, hmm, let me see how much wigs are. And I have them. You know what I'm saying? So that was just my constructive criticism. After I bleached knots, it came out really nice. I will say the hair texture is soft and pretty. Okay. I did pre-pluck it. So that's the reason why I look like this. So I do have my water bottle on standby and it does come standard. It's just the combs in it and the adjustable strap. I didn't put an adjust elastic band in this, but maybe I should, maybe I will. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do one real quick. Um, but the lace is a little bit darker than my skin tone, just a tad bit, or maybe it might just melt. We'll see, but I'm not like a really huge fan of this lace at all. But we're going to see. So bear with me while I put an elastic band in. And I'll be right Okay, back. guys. So let's put this wig on. So as you guys see, the hairline probably looks a little bit full and thick. But wait until I style it. And it's going to look a lot better. As you guys know, I always suggest get you some clips. These are available at the Dollar Tree, girl. I think you get like four or five in a pack. You cannot beat that. Okay. Did I just make a wrap? Okay. I'm all that. Anyway, go ahead and cut your lace wig right to the, almost to the hairline. Like, I'm not going to say cut it so close to the hairline but just leave you guys a tiny bit of lace so that way none of the hairs fall out so as i guys as i got as i was saying you guys like you know this is basically constructive criticism and i always want to support everyone and everything they do so that is the reason why i informed brick house beauty their name is brick house beauty make sure that you inspect your units prior to them being sent to the customers because everyone is picky in their own ways and everyone deserves the best customer service available and you don't want any type of bad reviews on any type of product that you are trying to you know put out there to the community to the workforce to the consumers so i always say make sure you give the best customer service ever and just try to inspect the units so it did turn out good you know i had to bleach it twice but no biggie no big deal and the lace actually was a perfect dead on color okay so you did see me cut off the excess lace in the video which was over flapping my ears that is mandatory i mean it's not if you don't want to but i just like for my wigs to fit properly and look as natural as possible especially on my head i hate when they're too big they are very uncomfortable like that even if you're tucking it behind your ears it's still really uncomfortable so you know don't be afraid to just cut off that extra lace it's not going to ruin your unit just make sure you part it directly above your ear like where you're ear ends right there make sure you cut it right there part it and cut it so I'm just gonna cut off these flyaways you know these extra little bit of hairs and you know what I'm saying style and profile baby style and profile and in the meantime in between time you guys you know you already know the steps that I take so I'm pretty sure I don't have to repeat myself you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna just let you guys enjoy this and I will leave the links below for Brick House Beauty also big shout out to them congratulations on starting your new business it's always hard but it's always a plus you know what I'm saying this is your baby girl so love your website love your business girl and get it popping and yeah i'll be back for the rest of the video okay yeah okay you looking for show yeah you know them yeah okay yeah. Then. Yeah. okay then okay. Oh, let's get it, bro. Hey, 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 h
it's going down. We was hitting legs up in your town. Hey, gang wasn't on shit. You wasn't around. Hey, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, body with your. It's going down. We was hitting legs up up in your town. Hey, gang wasn't on shit. You wasn't around. Hey, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring it down. Spin it block twice. <laughs> yeah, it's going down. Hey, it's going down. Hey, yeah, I beat the. Yep, I don't hit the raw. Nah, get smacked down. Hey, tell it get down. Hey, yeah, I'm up. Hey, bitch, y'all show. Oh, to tad it up. Hey, bitch, I got tad. I, yeah, he in the cut. Hey. We get dumb hot, roll the doobies up, wait, roll the doobies up, wait, Kobe, yeah, I'm clutch, wait, yeah, pull it up, wait, yeah, pull it up, yeah, yeah, I'm in the guts, 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 wait, put them up in the butt, wait, freaky nigga, hey, hey, make the block jump, like a tiger, wait. My head just saved my life. What the Hollywood shampoo at? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay then, okay then. Chill, What is up, man? Okay then. Chip, bro. Body hit your bitch. It's going down. We was hitting legs up in your town. Hey, gang wasn't on shit. You wasn't around. Hey, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, body with your It's going down. We was hitting legs up up in your town. Hey, gang wasn't on shit. You wasn't around. Hey, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring them, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring them, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring them, chop it, chop it, chop it, bring them down. Hey, chop it, bring them. get into the final destination of this wig so even though like I stated that I wasn't too happy with the bleach knots because I did have to bleach it twice the one thing that I did notice is with the lace it's a little bit harder to tack down so you need to make sure that when you're doing it you're doing it in small sections with this one instead of just like spraying it all over and it'll dry quickly. You need to do this one in small sections because the lace is a little bit different. Yeah. All in all, it actually is a nice wig. It came out really cute. I like it after bleaching it, you know what I'm saying? It kind of like melted in my skin. I think the lace is more or less directly my color. And you know, as for the baby hairs, you know, I just put a couple because I didn't want you to see like the edges. The density is nice. I like the density. I really can't remember what it was, so I'll definitely post it below. And the cap, fits good so if you have a lot of hair then you'll definitely need you know if you have a lot of hair you'll definitely fit this cap because it's very it's not very roomy but it's roomy enough as you guys seen i had to cut off a lot on the sides because it was a little bit too big but if you have like a longer head or your ears are positioned elsewhere girl it'll definitely fit so i think like this wig you can wear for medium and large size heads because i put the elastic band in it and i still have to pull the adjustable straps a little bit tighter and all that good stuff but other than that you know what i'm saying i think it's really like a decent wig so all in all, you know what I'm saying, there was just that one little thing that was kind of like bothering me, which was the drop shipping. I know it was because of the actual different cards. But other than that, you know what I'm saying, 
the hair quality is nice. You know what I'm saying? It's decent. The curl pattern is bomb. And the hair is really actually soft. You know what I'm saying? I do like it. The only thing, the only other downfall for me is that there's really no parting space. There's not a lot of parting space. So if you're looking for a lot, then this is not going to suit you because this is the most that I could part it on the side. And if you part it in the middle, then you're still not, you're, you're getting the same because this is where the middle ends right here. So, I mean, this is decent amount, but for those who like it really, really deep, then you're not going to be able to get that with this particular wig. But, you know, for the most part, it's actually cute. You know, I do like the hair texture. It's really soft. Um, and the lace, you just have to do it in spurts. I've had lace wigs like this before where the lace was different and it took a little bit longer to spritz it down so you know what i'm saying yeah girl so check them out i post all the info below i love you guys stay diva and deep delicious and i'll see you guys in another video chop a chop a chop a chop a chop a bring them down hey chop a bring them chop a chop a chop a bring them down hey chop a bring them chop a chop a chop a bring them down hey chop a bring them chop a chop a chop a bring them down hey chop a bring them